Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something very fun, interesting, I would say. Today we're getting rid of these bad boys. Don't need them anymore, browse who. So today's video is sponsored by Benefit. You guys know I've been working with them this year, doing loads of fun videos, showing off new products, etc, etc. As you guys know, Benefit is like the number one brow selling brand worldwide. Today is actually National Brow Day. Alright, so what better way to celebrate it than getting rid of my eyebrows? <laughs> I don't really know my logic in that, but listen, you've seen me do my eyebrows so many times, I thought let's do something fun, alright? Of course, as always, whenever I work with Benefit, there is a sneaky little competition at the end. That's all I'm saying, that's all I'm saying. Blocking and bleaching your eyebrows has always been a huge trend in the fashion and beauty world. Huge into the drag world also, the makeup gods. I was inspired to do this since I seen my friend Mitchell working on Jeffrey. Because Jeffrey has no eyebrows, he had a lot more space to kind of play around and really wing it out and I want to do it. I want to do it. I have a lot of friends who don't actually have eyebrows or have very fair eyebrows. A lot of them rock it as they should but some of them are a little bit conscious of it which I think they definitely should not be. If you have no eyebrows or barely any eyebrows you can draw on whatever type of eyebrow you want. Like I said I've done this before but not properly and I just think I'm gonna mess up so I really want to put myself to the test of it and do it. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I want to have a lot of fun with colour and dramaticness so we're all gonna learn a lot from this video, hopefully. Okay, so first things first, I'm realist. So I haven't applied any creams down like that to my face because I just presume that would affect the glue. So we're gonna be gluing down our eyebrows with Pritt stick. So what I need is some Pritt stick and a spoolie at hand. So we're just going to very harshly <laughs> That is sick. Get those brows all Gunky. Oh wow. Taking our spoolie, you want to make sure you get your hair super, super flat to your face so that whenever we apply our foundation and whenever over top, we won't see any texture or try not to see as much texture. Oh wow, talk about a fluffy brow. Just gonna take a wee bobby wipe and I'm gonna get rid of any glue that's on the skin. So obviously that's gonna cause texture later on, which we don't want. No, thank you. Oh, I already know the faces I'm making during this are not cute. So we're just gonna let that one dry and do the exact same to the other side. Ah! I'm having way too much fun with this. I really hope this works out because what I wanted to. You do not laugh at me. I feel like he's are laughing already though, in fairness. Wow. Excuse me, look how fluffy they are. When he says he likes fluffy eyebrows, why don't my brows look like this all the time? After they've dried down now, you're gonna add another two to three layers of glue, making sure the glue is dry each time you add it, but we're not gonna use a spoolie this time. We're just gonna use glue. I'm really scared because this can either go like really wrong or really right, and I just hope it's right. So the glue is gonna fill in any like gaps and ridges between your brow hairs. Do you know a lot of brow, qu brow queens? <laughs> Do you know a lot of drag queens actually shave off their eyebrows because it's obviously it's a lot easier then for them to do their makeup. Remember there was a time when everyone was shaving like half their eyebrow off because it meant that they could like draw on their own tail. I've seen so many people doing it. I was gonna do it at one stage. I've seen people use hair dryers on their eyebrows. And now I know why. I feel like I've had Botox in my eyebrows, if that's even a thing. <laughs> so once we're all glued down, we're taking some powder and... Rude. We're taking some powder and a sponge and we're gonna really press it in there. Press it in. Oh, wow. Okay, so I can already see places that we might have problems. <laughs> I could see the glue kind of lifting in certain areas, but I think I'm just gonna work away and hope that I can cover it a little bit, I guess. <laughs> and look, glorious, glorious. So I see a lot of people using the stick foundation on their eyebrows and then their normal foundation on their face. That's what I'm gonna do. This is the YSL stick foundation, so please. Okay, I'm literally just loading this on. Try to get through all those little cracks as much as I can. 
and I'm going to use my normal foundation then on the rest of my face. Well, this looks bad. Bad. It, this is so hard, guys. I really don't think I can stress that enough. It, this has definitely been the best brow cover up I have done. But as you can see, the powder is like sticking in certain areas and it's a nine. I'm just going to tell the perfectionist in me to shut up and continue on. This isn't supposed to be a, this is supposed to be a fun video, not a super perfect one I guess. I'm just using my Benefit Hello Flawless Powder in Ivory. As you can see, me loves it. It's just really good for brightening up. They're starting to look a little bit grey but I think whenever I put my eyeshadow on it will hopefully distract from it a little bit. Using my Benefit Hula Bronzer. Warm up these cheekbones. Look how much space I have though. Hello, are you joking? My bronzer is kind of catching onto the glue a little bit, which is inconvenient, but we'll ignore. Using my Anastasia Beverly Hills Amreezy highlighter. Get some glow going, because I look like a bit of an egg at the moment. I have no idea what this is going to look like on camera. <laughs> Moving on to blush, I'm going to use my Benefit California. This smells divine it smells like sunscreen i completely forgot i even had this blush hello so my brows are definitely going a little bit gray on me but i'm gonna try cover that with eyeshadow <laughs> okay i'm gonna go do one eye first because i don't know what i'm doing story of my life i'll be back <clears throat> okay so i kind of snapped a little bit i just i couldn't stop i could not stop i just had to play around with Oh, look it. Hello. Yes, you will see me from space. That is the goals. I just... The blending skills are definitely put to the test. Um, yeah, so if you want to see how to get this natural look, keep on watching. I have my P. Louise base down already, obviously, because how else? You know? Starting off with a bright ass yellow. Look it. I am literally blending on top of my eyebrow right now. Like, today is a good day. Okay, so blocking out your eyebrows is definitely an experience. It takes a lot of effort. I understand why a lot of drag queens just shave off their brow, but I love it. I love having all this extra space to blend up into. The more I can blend, the better. The more makeup I can put on, the better. And you know, all the effort that it does take, I thought I might as well do something crazy cool. Um, my eyelash stick in my eye. You know, actually, a lot of like drag queens makeup, whenever you're up close, it doesn't look great, but then on stage, it looks magnificent. Like, it's not perfectly blended. It, this is what I'm telling you to make myself feel better, all right? <laughs> you can still see like the texture of my brow hairs and whatnot. <laughs> you are the blending queen. Now, trying to match these bad boys up, that's where the fun begins. Oh, this is so therapeutic. I thought I was gonna get annoyed by seeing the little hair things, but honestly, it don't bother me. I'm living my best life right now. I'm going in with the purple. Being careful with this shade because it is the darkest one we're using. I don't wanna mess up everything. I wish I had this much space normally. I mean, I always appreciate drag queens. I feel like it is a form of art. I've said this before on my channel, but if you do not agree, then leave. They're so, so bloody talented. This alone takes forever. Never mind like singing and acting and performance they put on. Like my God. I mean, you guys did always say you want to see my crazy Instagram looks here. I realized I didn't even tell you what palette I was using. <laughs> Stacey Marie, Be Perfect Carnival palette, of course. So what I'm about to do is like my favorite thing ever right now. I'm gonna take a mixture of Pink Me. It's like this pearlescent pink shade and then this Moony, which is a pearlescent yellow shade. And wait, you see the fire I'm gonna do with this, all right? You just calm down for a second, all right? Don't you just get too ahead of yourself, okay? Oh wait, no, actually first, before we do that, I'm taking some Funky, which is the bright pink, literally the tiniest amount of it on my blush brush and just batting it, like look at my hand, hello. Batting it onto my hand and I'm gonna blend that up into the eyeshadow. Oh, you hot damn. Right, now onto the magicness. Pink me on one finger, Moony on the other and we're gonna stamp the pink on top of the pink area and really get like that, oh. This is my favorite part. Honestly, I would shave off my brows 
for this alone. Pressing the yellow on top of the yellow area here at the start. I am living. I am obsessed with this. When people have like bleach brows or they have no eyebrows and they like bring their high, I just think it looks insane. <gasps> Dead. D-E-D. -E I'm using my finger just to make sure I get like the most impact out of it. Pink me over top of our blusher here because it is that more like pinky shade. I am obsessed with this. Girl, you just wait till I get a wig on. Then of course, taking Ofra Glaze Donuts. This is their collab with Nikki Tutorials. I've said this before, but this is literally Instagram highlight, but in real life. I'm just gonna pop that, hello, onto the highest points. Excuse me. Excuse me. Oh, I'm so excited. Just using the Jeffree Star Drug Lord White Liquid Lipstick to cut my crease. I really have just gone all drag on this because I want that bright ass in a Kona. Usha, usha. Now I take my Peter Louise base just to set that white. We're looking a little bit patchy over here, but I'll fix that now in a second. Do not judge me. Get off your hat, horse. Putting that same pink me shimmer all over the lid. Then for that extra bling bling, I'm taking some pixie glitter from Peaches and Cream and I'm not using anything to stick it down, I'm just bouncing it on top. And anytime eyeshadow is just not blending for your property, just stick a little glitter over it. <laughs> it's fine. And some ColourPop piggy bank into that waterline. I've got purple in my eyeball. Benefit Bad Girl Bang Mascara. Finally drying out on me, guys. I have had this mascara since it came out, which was February, so you know, we've got a really good run out of it. I love mascaras when they're a little bit more dried out as well, so delighted with my life. Just popped on some Sosu Vogue lashes and my lip. I'll leave all details down below, but um, you guys, I am obsessed. Look at that glow. Dead. Put me in the grave like this. I am happy. This is so much fun. Fun. Very, very difficult. I cannot stress that enough. You can still see my hairs and everything, but this is honestly the best I could do. Not bad for my first time properly doing it. This is why I love makeup so much, whether it's you're wanting to get rid of your brow, or you want to draw on a brow, anything is possible. This is so much fun for me to do. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this creative-ness. Who says you need eyebrows anyway? Seriously? I can't wait to put my wig on and take them photographs. <laughs> and now for my brow lovers out there, for the people who prefer putting their brows on as opposed to taking them off, drum roll please. We've got a competition. You guys know every time I work with Benefit, we hold a big ass competition. So if you, yeah, you want to win 500 euro worth of Benefit products, sorry, excuse me, what, 500 euro? Hello, can I win, please? If you want to win that, I will leave all details down below. So check it out, 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 check it out. Thank you guys so much for watching once again. You asked for my Instagram makeup to be on YouTube. Any of you brave enough to rock this? If you recreate or decide to create a cool look like this, blocking out your eyebrows, then please tag me because I want to see. That's all from me. Hopefully I see you in my next video. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any more of my videos. I have got loads up already though. I've got this one, and this one. I mean, like, you don't have to go anywhere. We can chill out a little bit longer. Did you see my last video? Did you see it? I know, it's crazy what happened in it. I, I shook. I shook myself, never mind any of you guys.